And I'm sitting there, and I remember looking at her, and I was like, is it okay for someone to doubt the pure existence of God for so long? And she said, no, like, you know, that's, that's not normal. So as soon as I stand up, we're, we're singing, and we're singing on Cross the Solid Rock, I stand. And just, I just completely, um, I just I let go of um, <clears throat> trying not to cry, but it's kind of hard when it's something so beautiful. I finally just I just I pleaded with God after debating about pleading with God because I was so hesitant about it. I just pleaded. I remember just closing my eyes. I actually remember looking at me and he's singing, and I was just just closed my eyes and I just screamed out to God. I said, God. me who you are. Just show me who you are. If it means taking all this knowledge that I have of you and just me being dumb, I will be more than happy. Just, I need to know who you are. I need to feel your presence in my life. And just immediately, I just felt this overwhelming. I just started crying, just crying and crying. And I, I was, my shirt like I just been sweating and just working out. And it just felt like all of this knowledge that I had just sunk into my heart. And it's just, God's presence made sense. His sovereignty made sense. His beautiful election of me, for some reason he chose me to be part of his adopted family, made sense simply because of his blood. And then Mark just preached all about adoption through, through his sermon. And he ended with Ephesians chapter 1, verses 7 through 9, and how we've been predestined for adoption. And I just started crying even more because it, it made sense. I, have, I was predestined for adoption. I still don't know, don't know why, why not? Yeah. The question, <clears throat> the question is no longer why this person, why not the other person. The question is why did he choose me? And so, it's been three months now, um, and and life has truly been, it's 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 fun. I get to love my wife better, and. God is he's chanting a lot of my desires. It's, and it's been hard on me. It's been it's been really hard. You know, I've always just been in love with the idea of having a successful job and having um, you know a successful life with money and now he's he's calling me to do things that don't provide any of those at all. <laughs> and it's it's been difficult on a daily basis. I I think that's where most of my struggle is coming from. Letting go of this Life that I was born, that I was identified with, and now identifying Christ and what He has for me.